Well, now that the rear tire is shot, and I'm absolutely not gonna ride on this at all anymore. I need to change it because I'm gonna have to ride that thing. So I gotta get this ready. It's Christmas day. Um, tomorrow, hopefully they'll have one in stock at Cycle Gear. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take the tire off, okay? You take this little thing off here, this nut comes off. When this nut goes back on, just so everyone knows, it's gonna be 230 Newton meters with grease, you can put some grease on it, 230 Newton meters to torque this, and then you put this retaining reed back in. We'll do that when I come back. But first, I'm gonna use an impact to remove this because these are a son of a gun. Now I'm gonna repeat, I'm gonna use this to take it off because trust me, this does not wanna come off for some reason at all, but it goes back on with a torque wrench. It does not get impacted back on. For those that are curious, this is an impact safe and it's called Speedy Moto, all right? And this is specifically for this bike, part number 04-0203. Now is a good time to get all this cleaned up. I would not put the grease here on the pins yet until you're putting it back together, but now is a good time to kind of clean all of this up. Might be a good time for you to change the brake pads if they're due. This one is not, these are in really good shape. Uh, but it's a really good opportunity you have when this is a part to get everything cleaned up. Also, one of the things that you'll notice with these uh, Marcassini Forge, Ro uh, Forge uh, wheels is that they are extremely <laughs> so lightweight. It's unbelievable how lightweight these are. So I'm gonna prep these to take, all right? I think I'm gonna pop out the valve out of here so that uh, I get a fresh one when they put it back together and put these to the side also a good idea to clean these up all right you're going to have the cone here that's going to go in then this is going to go on top just it's a very thin washer and then of course the lock nut goes in and then the retainer pin goes in after that once again good time to get all of this cleaned up really well and actually anytime you have the bike apart like this and in this case it's just taking the rear wheel off is a good time to go ahead and give it a really good inspection and clean things up so that you maintain them well they're well lubricated and you don't have grime and dirt wearing out components start getting everything cleaned up and put it to the side and wait for the tire to come back so you're installing a nice clean product and while you have this apart and you have this all nice and cleaned up, now is a good opportunity for you to kind of take care and clean up this rotor and get yourself some brake clean on it. Uh, again, the wheel's off, you got nothing better to do, or like me, I have nothing better to do. So go ahead and get this all cleaned up. Well, the new tire is now mounted and of course it is balanced and it is time to put it back on the bike and test it out. And one of the things you wanna do is we're gonna get a little bit of lube, a little bit of grease. We're gonna put grease around these pins and a little bit on the threads in this area right here before we put the wheel back on. And let's lift this up and put this in place and make sure that everything lines up with those pointed studs. And all these parts that you cleaned up, well, time to put them on in reverse, right? First one's gonna be this one right here followed by this piece, and then finally the nut. And you already have that nice and lubed. We're gonna put that on, slowly tighten it up, making sure everything's aligned. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna to torque this to 230 Newton meters, 230 Newton meters right here. When you're doing this by yourself, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass, all right? So I have this set to 230 Newton meters on the torque wrench, but remember, you're going to have to hold down the front brake in order to get this done. So it's gonna, you're gonna be in sort of an awkward position, but you're gonna be pressing down on the rear brake as you torque this to 230 uh, Newton meters, and not just 230 me Newton meters, but also at a position where the holes are lined up here with the slots so that you can get the retaining ring right back in. So I forgot to mention that it's easier to take it off the rear stand so that you get more friction before you go ahead and put this in place. I can't do it with uh, one hand, so I wanna put it in and you'll see what it looks like. So once it's back in place, 
it's going to fit in this groove and it's going to look just like this. There's a pretty good close up of it. That's what it looks like. This piece, this piece fits in and then this piece over here kind of holds on to it and it's done. Now just double check the pressure of the tire. Make sure that it's set at factory specs. Now for this particular bike, this is the Ducati Multistrada V4S Pikes Peak. So, or I'm sorry, the V4 Pikes Peak. So the factory recommendation for a single rider is 34 and a quarter. And right now we are at closer to 35. So I'm gonna take a little bit out of this and that's more like it. That's about 34 and a half, somewhere around there. All right, that'll do it. Okay, so that'll do it. Um, I'll get another probably 3,600 miles out of this. We'll see. Um, the game plan, just so everyone knows, the game plan with this bike is that these Pre uh, Pirelli Diablo uh, Corso uh, fours will be coming off before my road trip to Texas to go to the MotoGP race at Coda Circuit of the Americas in Austin, Texas. So I will be, be putting on the uh, front or the rear and front, I will be putting on the Michelin Road 6 tires, which I will get significantly better wear and they're still very good performance-based tires. So that's the game plan and that's about it. Brand new tire on the rear, time to ride. Anyway, this is Rainbow. That's uh, how you do it. Pretty easy. One of the easiest uh, tires you're going to change is on a single-sided swing arm and also one of the easiest to adjust the chain. Quite amazing. Anyway, this is Rainbow. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you very much and have a good day. Bye-bye.